Senator, for a decade it's been one of the most controversial and debated proposals in New York City history. But tonight, the MTA and the federal government agreeing to go forward with congestion pricing. Yeah, it will affect cars that drive south of 60th Street in Manhattan. This at a time of high inflation and when the city is trying to get workers to return to their offices. But put a tax on cars and with violent crime rising in the subways, many say this is not the right time for this. I would assume reporter Andrew. He's in Lower Manhattan with our lead story tonight. Newt. Yeah, that's right, Bill. There are more hurdles to go, but there is no question about it. The biggest roadblock to congestion pricing has been removed. Yes, some will say the timing could hardly be worse, but for the MTA, that money could not come soon enough. The new tolls would be slapped on virtually every car and truck driving into or through Manhattan south of 60th Street. Congestion pricing has been debated for 15 years in New York City, but it is now one major step closer to reality. This is a very significant step forward, overcoming big hurdles. We got another phase. We have to get to the final federal blessing. We think that's going to come at the end of this year. Today, the MTA board appointed a committee to draft specifics, what the tolls would be, who would pay them, and during what hours. The AAA has recommended lifting tolls on overnight hours, for example. The system would use a vast network of license plate and easy pass readers, like those used on the MTA's bridges and tunnels. It's expected to raise at least a billion dollars every year, revenue the agency is counting on to fund its capital plan. Money to maintain and upgrade the transit system at a time when 40% of riders have yet to return to the subways, the buses, and the commuter trains. It's keeping the system going. It's, it's essential. It, it's, it's a necessary evil, unfortunately. Most board members appear to support congestion pricing. David Mack of Nassau County is among at least three who oppose it. I don't want to hurt New York City or New York State. Another tax upon tax is just not the time right now. Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis calls it a tax on middle class residents in the outer boroughs. We need the residents in the outer boroughs to come out in droves and speak out against this tax. That is what it is. It is an additional tax. A series of public hearings is scheduled for late August. If it is ultimately approved, congestion pricing could be in place in New York City by the end of next year.